Self-care is absolutely amazing. It is one of those things that can really change your life. But the thing is, you know what, there's a lot of people who think that self-care doesn't work or that, you know, they've tried it for a bit and, oh, it didn't change. Nothing changed about their life. But the thing is, I actually think a lot of people are missing the point in self-care because there is real magic there. Once you find that magic, it really has the power to change your life. And for you to embrace this powerful tool means that you really get to go after what you want and see those results show up in your life. So in this video, we're gonna be diving into this powerful self-hack that you may not know about, or you may not even realize the power it can work on your life. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Saoirse, and I help people get unstuck and create powerful results in their life. So what is this powerful self-care hack? What is this magical stuff that we need to know about that's gonna change our lives? Well, what I'm about to tell you might sound very simple, it might sound very silly, but once I explain it, you'll, you'll see why. All it is, is taking action. Now that probably sounds silly, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's how you take action and where you take action. Because if you're taking action in the powerful stuff, the stuff that really can change your life, then you're on the right track here. Because we take action in our day to day all the time, but not all, not all of that action that we're taking is meaningful. So here's a special source about it. You've got to take action on the things that you struggle with, the things that are troubling you, the things that make you feel uncomfortable, all of those fears. Take action to overcome them. That's the source. And this is really powerful because, you know what, I've seen this whack in my own life and I'll tell you why. So basically a couple of years ago, I was working in a shop and what started to happen was I, at first I was really, really happy to work there and I was really comfortable. It was really easy for me to be confident at that job. And then I started to have some traumatic experiences where we started to get a lot more people shoplifting, vandalizing the store and being aggressive towards the staff. And I experienced a lot of that firsthand and uh, it really, really shook me up. What started to happen was my anxiety got so much that I had to stop working because I started to develop PTSD from all these traumatic experiences. And it was like, I tried to come in the next day after a really traumatic experience and my brain just couldn't function. It couldn't, um, nothing was sinking in. I, it was like I was in total shock. And it was like me interacting with customers. I was just so scared of people being aggressive, aggressive towards me. And um, I started to get really hesitant. And even, even when, you know, like that was the day when I stopped working there. But from that point onwards, like even me just going out shopping, uh, getting a few groceries and stuff like that, I was just so shook up, just afraid uh, of people being aggressive. I like just getting a new job, that really scared me. And it, it was weird going from feeling really confident and then going to this place where little, little everyday stuff scaring me, making me not want to go do them. How I healed this and really overcame the situation in my life, because this was really holding me back. And the thing is, I, I needed to get a job and I needed to not have everyday stuff scare me, not have this anxiety so high. I didn't want to be held back in my life anymore because you know, I'd seen a more confident side of myself and I wanted more of that to grow. Um, but what really healed this and really allowed me to let go of all of this traumatic experiences 
was taking action because I needed to get a job. I needed to, I had to sit myself down and be like, you know what, you need to just go over and overcome this. You've got to get a job and you've got to be comfortable talking to people. You, you just can't let this hold you back. So I started taking action in ways that would actually heal me. So for instance, when I did get a new job, I started to think, okay, I'm going to start choosing beliefs that make me feel more comfortable and allow me to get comfortable in this workplace. Things like customers are always lovely. Customers always appreciate my kindness and are always supportive of my actions and helping them and all of that sort of stuff. And I also encouraged myself to get better at sales because I was very afraid there as well. So, you know, allowing myself to see it's a fun experience and jump in and think, okay, what if I ask them this, see if I can upsell that and just take little steps. And by taking all of this action, this is what's really helped me to overcome this. And as a result of doing all these things, I've actually noticed that where I felt so uncomfortable for such a long time every single day that I started to go like I'm feeling so much more confident I'm feeling so much more relaxed yeah it's hard when you're going through it and you're trying to come out, overcome these things but there becomes a time where you're like you know what actually I'm starting to feel better this hard work is paying off everything I'm doing is paying off and I think as well when you're choosing beliefs that create a better you know life for yourself and better experiences what i didn't expect was that actually people were so lovely to me from just me trying to overcome this and heal this in my life people have been so supportive and i've had so many lovely reviews from customers so like for me that's the evidence that i'm healing this that i'm going through this and i'm making this a win in my life. So this is how powerful taking action is. It can really change the game for you and really heal your life. It's all about taking the right kind of action. It's having the right intention. So even if you're not sure how to go ahead with all these things in your life, start with the intention that you intend to heal this, tend to heal this uncomfortableness in your life. I think the most powerful thing that you can do is to not only see this as a powerful tool, but also see that, that you know what you can have, you can do self care anywhere. So you can do it at your work every single day. You can do it at your home. You can do it in your social life. You can do it in everything that you're experiencing. The more that you see taking action as a real healer in your life, the more that it will actually work that magic. The important thing here that I want you to take from this video is what powerful, small or big action are you gonna take in your life that's really gonna be the healer for you? That's really gonna help you heal through this? What healing is waiting to come into your life? Once you start there, you will start to understand the steps and you'll see that all, everything that you feel is a mess in your life will start to unravel. It will start to get smoother. It will start to, it's almost like we're ironing out the kinks and it's this loving experience that you get to go through and trust me, you will experience this. By applying everything in this video, you will experience that. Now, a powerful way to start your journey in healing is to journal. Now, if you would like some tips to get started and some real powerful guidance with this, watch this video right here.